Okay. My telescope got here. I ordered this on uh, August 23rd originally, I guess. And it's the last day of September, I guess, or it's the 30th. So it took a while for Celestron to send this to, uh, um, I got it from High Point Scientific. And there's a CD in the manual. I'd seen it, only one other guy had a uh, unboxing video of this, so I decided to make one. And it is double boxed. And this box is wrinkled up. I seen the other guy on uh, uh, YouTube, his box is wrinkled up pretty bad. This is actually wrinkled worse, worse than this one, I think. paper in here. Important, important, important. We'll read that later. The reason I bought this was uh, kind of a funny story. Uh, there was a guy on the Cloudy Nights Forum has a smaller uh, telescope and he wasn't getting a real good image out of it. And so, uh, um, I, what I did was I took out my, uh, my little, this is a Bushnell, it's like got like a three inch mirror, it's an F9.3 I think. Anyway, so I took it out, it's got a really badly damaged mirror in it, and uh, I got it out of the dumpster. Anyway, uh, I took it out to see what I could see with it. And I was looking at Saturn, and I could see quite a bit of stuff. Or, you know, see quite a bit for as messed up as it is. And uh, so I was thinking that uh, um, it may be a, a, a small telescope. Uh, a 0.3-inch uh, or so would be a good telescope uh, to have to play around with. And I knew I could get one cheap off eBay, you know, for 100 bucks or something. So when I started looking around, but then I ended up on the High Point Scientific site, and they had this uh, telescope there. This is the, uh, I can remember the model of it. Um, it's a Celestron, has a 120 millimeter uh, lens in it. And uh, they, uh, uh, but they had it for uh, three, it's 399, 399 bucks. But they had a, what's funny is they had a uh, um, monthly payment. You could get it on payments, and the payments was $12.91. And what was funny is just a couple days before, I had canceled my Netflix, and uh, it was $12.99 a month. So I ended up uh, buying this telescope. I was thinking, heck, you know, I can get a, a decent telescope for the same price I'd waste my money on and time on Netflix. So that's what I wanted to get. That's why I got it. And uh, in the long run though, I ended up not making payments on it because they wouldn't, uh, they said you could get it for $12.91 a month, but they only wanted to do it for 34 bucks a month. So then it wasn't funny anymore. So then I just paid for it. But it took a while to get here. Yeah, it feels like almost all of it's metal. Yep. Got a big lens in it. So I already built a... Uh,
I built a tripod to put that on. It's a uh, equatorial. I've got a waist for it. And then I gotta drill these holes out. Now that I got it, I can find out what size these are uh, holes to drill these. But uh, I made this, it's all made out of scrap metal. And it's got a crank up uh, riser on it. So, anyway, that's what that's for. Go on here. Okay, this is the 25 millimeter lens. I don't believe I have a 25 millimeter. This is probably a colossal, I would guess. Multi coated, it says. Yeah, it's not a real big field of view. It's got a crank up. Uh, uh, eyepiece on her uh, eye cut. That's okay. I don't have a 25 millimeter, so that's cool. This is the diagonal. It's an inch and a quarter. And it's coated too, it looks like, with something. That's cool. I don't think this eyepiece is like anything they sell. I'm not sure. I, I don't know a lot about Celestron stuff, so. And then it's got a collimating eyepiece. That's cool. I don't have one of those. Uh, I've got a laser and then one I made. But that's, that's pretty cool. That's better than what I got. I can use it on my uh, reflector telescopes. Here's the bracket. direction it goes in. I'll have to look at the instructions. The yeah, focus is not bad. It feels pretty smooth. In the finder scope. Well, that's cool. That's easy to see through. It doesn't have a. Uh, it doesn't have a real bad focal length on the. For you to be able to see through it. That's good. That's cool. Good deal.
So I ended up paying 400 bucks instead of 100 bucks. But I think 399 bucks for this is a good deal. There's only two places that sell this uh, without the uh, uh, without the, the base and. Uh, High Point Scientific sells it for $3.99 in the other place, I can't remember the name of, um, they sell it for $4.99, hundred bucks more. But it's a cel uh, Celestron Omni XLT120. That's pretty cool. It has a focal length of a thousand millimeters. The lens diameter uh, 120 millimeters. They say this weighs like 12 pounds or something. So that's it. I guess I'll uh, let me get this hooked up to the deal and then we'll uh, see what it looks like on there.